everyone here is a question on exercise 11.3 this is fifth question from chapter perimeter and area of class 7 the question is from a circular sheet of radius 4 cm a circle of radius 3 cm is removed find the area of the remaining sheet and they have given to take a pi value as 3.14 so what is in given in the question what they are asking us to find out so this is a circle you can see we have a two circle given the first one is of a radius 4 cm means the outer circle that is this circle what is given is of radius 4 cm so this is center from here the radius is 4 cm so from this big circle they have removed another circle of radius 3 cm means this is a 3 cm circle the white color thing you can see in the figure this circle is been removed now they are asking us to find out the remaining area means the blue color area which is left you can see in the picture this area we have to find out so how to do it's very simple from this big circle which is of radius 4 cm we're gonna remove this okay. the small portion we have to subtract it and then that's it the remaining area is what they are asking us to find out but how to do it so there are two ways of finding out you can find the area of the big circle which is of radius 4 cm you can find the area of the smaller circle which is of radius 3 cm and then subtract it okay, that is what we have to do it so let's do this so only thing we have to require is area area of circle is what we require here so let us write down what we know so given okay, I'm gonna take the outer circle radius as capital R okay given capital R is equal to 4 centimeter which is of circular sheet okay circular sheet that is the outside circle I'm just writing this in a bracket and I'm gonna take small r as a circle radius 3 centimeter which is the inside one it's a normal circle what is given okay this 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 circle I'm talking about the inner one okay now what we have to do we have to find out the remaining area that is blue color area so like I said before we have to subtract the two areas right so the area the remaining area will be so remaining area will be equal to now the outer circle area will be pi capital R square now because I have taken capital R just to differentiate because I cannot take both the R to be same it will get confused so I have taken the this circle radius to be a capital R in this case so uh, area of the outer circle from this area I will gonna subtract area of the small circle this one and we know area of circle is pi r square right so in place of r I have taken capital R now I want to remove the smaller circle area so that will be pi r square because I have taken smaller for the inside circle if I substitute the value I'll get the answer that's it now instead of substituting the value instead of sub substituting a pi value and r value and then finding a this area and this area what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take a common out means you can see here that we have a pi in both the terms we have a pi here we have a pi here I'm gonna take this pi outside means since it's common in both I'm gonna write down this as pi in the bracket capital R square minus small r square okay when you open the bracket pi into capital R square will be pi r square minus pi into small r square is pi r square we'll get back to the same this one so I've taken a pi outside here to make the calculation much easy if you feel this is not uh, you know, like it's not easy you can substitute the value you can find out this area you can find out this area and then you can subtract it okay I feel this is much easy way okay so from here pi value they are asking us to take 3.14 so 3.14 in the bracket capital R value is 4 so 4 square minus small r is 3 3 square okay so let's substitute so 3.14 4 square is 16 16 minus 3 square is 9 so this is equal to 
3.14 16 minus 97 so multiply it by 7 so when you multiply 3.14 and 7 we'll get 21.98 now this is the area we're talking about so unit will be centimeter square okay so this is how we can solve you can see that i have just had to multiply 3.14 only once if you substitute the value here it will be like 3.14 multiplied by 16 minus 3.14 multiplied by 9 that makes like too much calculation so just avoid those steps so that's it we have got the answer this was simple now in case you have further question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching